Hey guys, welcome back to another video and greetings from Otaru in Hokkaido. Today we're going to show you some of the must try street food in Otaru because they have a lot of it, especially delicious sweets and desserts that you have just got to try. So the last time we were here in Otaru, it was about seven years ago. We even have an old video of it. If you want to check it out, uh, the link is in the description below this one. Today, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna try out even more street food here. I'm really really looking forward to this. Otaru is a small harbor city. It's only about half an hour by train from Sapporo, so many people come here for a day trip. From the early days of Hokkaido's colonization in the late 1800s, Otaru served as a major trade and fishing port, which is why you see many old warehouses and former office buildings. These buildings give Otaru a very <laughs> special character, reminiscent of past decades. At the end of the video, we're going to come back at nighttime because it's uh, Christmas time and it should be really beautiful, especially around the canal. So first place, we are at this place called Deruki Koji. It's located right across the Otaru Canal. It's a collection of eateries, uh, casual eateries, where you can pop in to get a nice bowl of Sapporo ramen, or in our case, some street food. So first place is Ungaya. It, it is located just outside of this Denuki Koji. Right, it's part of the complex. Mm -hmm. They sell steamed buns and other things. Yes, so I decided to get the jagabata, which is a potato with butter. It's Hokkaido potato and Hokkaido butter. It is like one of the most common things that you see here in Hokkaido. Yeah, look at that. So it's basically just a potato. You got butter, the butter is already melted, and you have some salt on the outside. Okay, itadakimasu. Mmm. <laughs> I'm not over exaggerating when I say the potatoes in Hokkaido are amazing. They're amazing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. And the butter is so creamy and nice. I'm gonna take a bite out of this. Mmm. Mmm. What that? I don't know if you can tell, but. It's super creamy. The potato is soft and creamy. I don't know how to describe it other than that it's really, really delicious. It reminds me of the first time I had Hokkaido potato. It just blew my mind. Mm. Oh, so good. So I bought Jingiskan buns. Jingiskan is a very popular dish in Hokkaido. It's like a barbecue but using lamb. I've never eaten Jingiskan or lamb meat buns. Usually we eat pork or beef. So I'm very curious. So what how's the inside? Hmm, smells nice. Onioni, onioni smell. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. It's onioni, gingerly, and good lamb flavor. And it's sweet, a little bit sweet, and thick sauce. It is very tasty. I like this. At the center of this Denuki Koji, there is a cute mascot. He is holding dango in his hand. Last time we came here, Otaru, was um, late March, so there was no snow at the time. Today is a Christmas Eve. Yes, it's white Christmas. The snow-covered Otaru is also really beautiful. As you can see, it's snow everywhere you look. But I think it really adds to the atmosphere of Otaru. And like I mentioned at the beginning, you see these very old buildings. I think these old buildings just add to the charm of Otaru, don't you? We found very interesting street food. Here we are at Sakai Dori. This street was the main street of former main street of Otaru. There are many many uh, old buildings. Um, this place was the center of the merchandise of Otaru. Now it is used for souvenir shops and restaurants. And we found one interesting thing. The shop name is called Porokara. And this one is Kari Kari Cheese Stick. It's crispy cheese stick. This one is uh, pizza dough, deep fried pizza dough. And inside is cheese, four types of cheese and other ingredients. The cheese is from Hokkaido. 
and today we chose asparagus and bacon. Hokkaido is famous for asparagus. Itadakimasu. Mmm. 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 This dough is pizza dough, so it's quite volumey. I think it's very good when you are hungry. Hokkaido cheese is very tasty. Mm. So like Satoshi said, Hokkaido is famous for their dairy products including cheese. Uh, this particular one uses Gouda, red cheddar, mozzarella, and parmesan cheeses. Mm -hmm. That is good. The pizza dough is very crispy, lightly salted on the outside. It's a very thin pizza dough, so it's like, it kind of reminds me of like um, New York style pizza, but crispy. Mm. And the combination of all the cheeses with the asparagus and the smoky bacon is so delicious. Well, well harmonized. By the way, you can choose between salt, honey, and ketchup as a topping. But uh, she allowed us to get um, both the honey and the salt. I'm going to try the side with the honey. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh no. I see. The honey actually goes really well with the cheese. Hmm. They actually have one of this with just the four cheeses. I think next time I'd like to try the four cheese one with just the honey because I do like combination of honey and cheese. I really like it, especially with the salt. Hmm. Good combination. Once again, pretty hearty snack. Can't wait to eat more. Wow. This street is interesting. I don't know. I did not know this street. Wow. Very old Japanese atmosphere. Mm, it's like a movie set. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Like you said, it looks like a movie set. It kind of reminds me of like, um, what era is this? Showa? Would this be the Showa, Showa? era? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Look, Showa. Showa ga omotsuroi. I used to remember seeing this. Uh, this was like a little uh, corner cigarette stand back in the day. You used to see a lot of these in Japan. And the old telephone as well, the old public telephone. Pink telephone. <laughs> <laughs> Next place is Shoroan. And this place offers baby kasera in various flavors. I had to stop by here because they look so warming. And plus, I love baby kasera. <clears throat> and it's Christmas time, so check out the package. It's a Christmas version package. It's so cute. So we got the 15 plus 5 pieces pack for 800 yen. And you can choose one flavor. They look like these. Yeah, they're mini size Castella cakes. I love these so much. You can usually buy these, the original flavored ones, at uh, festivals throughout Japan. Itadakimasu. Mm. Mmm, very gingery. Looks like that on the inside, guys. It's super light and fluffy. Mmm, nice ginger flavor with a tinge of caramel. More gingery, in my opinion. Mm. Super light, fluffy, just the right amount of sweetness. I think this is the original flavor. Just egg, honey. Mmm. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Look at that. Mm, so light and fluffy. I love these so much. I can finish the whole bag in one sitting. I love Castella. I'm a Castella critic. <laughs> mm, mm. I'm a little bit mochi mochi. Mm. Just right sugar, sweetness. Mm. Custardy flavor. Mm. Approved. One more thing. I don't know which one is which flavor. <laughs> Maybe this one is ginger. Mm. <laughs> ginger. And it's a distinctive ginger flavor. Yes, it's ginger caramel. I've never tried ginger caramel baby castella, but it's good. It makes my body warmer. Mm. And I like how playful the shop owners are here. They made some cute little snowmans out front. Otaru used to be a trading center of Hokkaido. They deal 
80% of Hokkaido products. And this Sakai Machi Street was very close to the port, so there were the many many warehouse buildings and Manchatizer's shop. Some of those buildings still remain along this street and used for souvenir shops and restaurants. Next, we stop at Takeda no Zangi. Zangi is Hokkaido's karaage deep fried chicken, and we bought this one. This Kushi Zangi, Zangi on stick. Really appetizing. On top, you can choose a sauce. Well, we chose a uh, salt flavor. I amazed <laughs> this size. <laughs> it's pretty huge. <laughs> Itadakimasu. I love karaage. Look, it's still warm. I need warm stuff. So soft and juicy. And this salt and pepper flavor is really tasty. It's different from just salt flavor. Different from just pepper flavor. It's tasty sauce. Salt taste sauce. And it matches with this chicken flavor. This juicy chicken is really good. And of course, it is so hot. It's very important in this cold weather. Mmm! Mmm! Mm. That is good! At first, you know, when the lady recommended the salt, I was like, really? They have barbecue, they have a, like cheese, they had another uh, sauce, but this salt is good. What is it? It's super peppery and has so much flavor. So Otaru is also famous for grass product. Why? Why Otaru? is popular for grass product because they had made fishing tool fish uh, grass balls for fishing that's the start of otaru grass industry now they made a very very beautiful grass grass cup or other ornaments or something like that they are really beautiful so now we are here at shiawase no korokke Translation Happy Croquette. We bought two croquettes. This one is corn cream croquette and this one is cheese croquette. Corn cream croquette. Shinichi want to try, so I will try cheese one. I don't know why Shinichi really loves corn cream croquette. Well, it's the number one bestseller and Hokkaido's famous for corn. That's why. Cheese is also popular in Hokkaido. Hokkaido cheese is really good. <laughs> mm. Of course, it is sakuto. Mm. You already hear the sound of sakusakuto. <laughs> but inside, look, it's so creamy cheese. The cheese flavor is also really good. Not too thick, not too mild, just right. Mm. Mm. And it's warm. It's, it gives me a happiness in such a cold day. So this is the corn croquette, number one bestseller. Whoa. How can you not guys? This? this is amazing. So fresh, so hot and crispy. Look at all the corn on the inside. Look, you see all the bits of Hokkaido corn, sweet Hokkaido corn in this beautiful creamy sauce. So delicious and warming. Once again, I must say, it is a very cold day. Mm. I think I need something warm to drink now. It's so cold. And this place is a former rail track, the first railroad of Hokkaido. It connected Sapporo and Otaru. Now it is the walking walking road just like park but over there there is a train museum I want to visit next time <laughs> the interesting sign Okasan mo azukarimasu yo So next one is called imo mochi imo means potato mochi is regularly it's a sticky rice cake but 
this case, it, I think it is made with potato and the texture is like mochi rice cake. This shop name is Rishiriya Minoya uh, in Taisho Kupukan. Uh, this shop is uh, selling kombu seaweed, but they also sell this uh, imo mochi. It's well grilled. Mmm, looks yummy. Itadakimasu. Mmm, 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 Squishy, squishy, squishy potato cake. Mmm, and a little bit sweet soy sauce flavor. It's fluffy, squishy, fluffy inside. I have been dying to eat this since we've arrived in Hokkaido. I remember eating imomochi the last time we were here. Mm. You know, the texture is like something between mochi and kamaboko fish cake. But it does, it, there's no fish in here. Taste is like nicely grilled potato. It actually tastes like potato or like soy sauce flavored potato chips. Well, they're both potatoes, I guess. But they're really nice. It's, I'm trying to describe it. It's not like between shoyu dango and french fries and potato chips, but soy sauce flavor, something like that. It's just very, very delicious. You guys, you, you gotta try this. So one thing that we're not gonna be trying out today because you do have to buy the whole cake is something called Dublu Fromage from a store called Lutao. Uh, Lutao is a sweet shop that is born here in Otaru. They have six stores in this area alone. And uh, you guys have to try this out, uh, especially the Dublu Fromage. It's a cheesecake but it's unlike any cheesecake we've ever had. It's so good. Definitely try it out. So we found a very curious thing. I love pudding, I love wine, and both are combined into one. Wine pudding. Why not? Why not? So I immediately entered the shop. The shop is Kitaichi Garasu Vinoteka. It's uh, Kitaichi Garasu is a very popular uh, glass shop, and they have wine shop too and they sell this pudding wine pudding and i asked them what is wine pudding the shop staff said they reduce the sugar amount and they use wine sweet wine instead that's interesting immediately i bought itadakimasu mm. Mm. the wine wine aroma came yes it's not super strong, but good, good level of wine sweetness. This one, instead of caramel, it, they use raspberry. The tanginess is really good. Mm -hmm. It's so cold and creamy. Has a nice egg custard flavor. And you can definitely taste uh, the sweetness, the, the slight subtle sweetness from the Italian wine. Very, very delicious and very sophisticated tasting. Hmm. You know, I gotta say, eating this uh, custard pudding in this very winter weather, it's like eating ice cream. It's so cold. Mm. We found very interesting stuff inside of Otaru Canal Terminal. It is called Panju. Pan means bread, Ju means manju. The mixture of bread and manju. The shop name is Kuwataya. What shall I say? This sweet, this shape? <laughs> it's like a, a takoyaki bowl or a castella bowl. We chose four flavors. Matcha, caramel, koshian, cinnamon, Apple. First, uh, I choose matcha. And this uh, sweet is Otaru's specialty. It has a long history. This was eaten since Meiji era, about 100 years ago. Eat like this. <laughs> this side is very thin, so eat like this. Mmm, mmm. Wow. The interesting part, the bread part, the outside is really thin. So much matcha cream inside. And this matcha an, it's really tasty. 
At first, I thought, you know, Panju sounds very modern. It sounds like something someone would think of, like in this day and age. But we now know that this has been around for over a hundred years. Pretty amazing. So this is the original one. This is the Koshian, which is a, a sweetened azuki bean paste, a smooth paste. And like Satoshi says, you have to eat it upside down because this side is super thin. Deva, Takimas. Sorry, this one is cinnamon apple. <laughs> oh, fabulous. Satoshi, you would hate this because there's so much cinnamon in here. Look at all the apple filling. It's like, it's like the most delicious, not sweet apple pie filling. Oh, mm. and this outside, this, this, this crusty part, the, the outer surface is crispy, but the inside is soft. It's like pie crust. Oh, oh, so good. All right, so I'm assuming maybe this one is the, the original one, the Anko, the Azuki red bean paste. Let's see. Mm. Oh, it's good too. Mmm. Look how much Anko paste is inside. It's mostly anko. Oh, the outside is so thin. We're talking to the lady who runs this place and she was saying that the original store is in one of the Shoten guys. It's one of the oldest stores. But hmm, she also said that these sweets are like not, not known. And it's such a shame. You know, all the newer shops are more famous than this one. We absolutely recommend these. Panju, make sure to get this. Spread the word because this shop deserves more attention. We love soft serve even in winter. It's really cold. The good point to eat soft serve in the winter is it won't melt. This one is eight layers soft serve from Kitaichi Garasu Sangokan. Kitaichi Garasu is a very popular glass shop in this area. Oh, I already mentioned uh, at the print shop. Yes, Kitaichi Garasu is a very popular uh, glass shop and they also sell this one. Mocha, matcha, strawberry, melon, milk, chocolate, and marbles. Two kinds of marbles, strawberry and melon, uh, milk and chocolate. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. How can I eat this? Like this? Hey. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh, chocolate is really tasty. It has distinctive chocolate flavor, cacao flavor. Mm, it's nice. And outside temperature is, is minus 5 or minus 6 degrees Celsius. So outside is a little bit firmer than the regular soft sub. It's interesting. Okay, strawberry. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Oh, the flavor is really thick. Hmm, melon. Mm. Mm. Every flavor is very distinctive. May I eat all the flavors in one time? It's interesting. It's too cold for soft sub. <laughs> I can't eat all the flavors in one time. <laughs> okay, I will try each flavors. <laughs> mm. Mm. Actually, the milk flavor is really nice. Yeah, it's very, very milky, intense milk flavor. Almost like condensed milk. It's really delicious. Mm, good chocolate, good chocolate. It tastes like um, of hot cocoa, but in softer form. Hokkaido melon. Mmm, that's really good. Really good melon flavor. It's like eating a fresh melon. <laughs> Strawberry is really good. <laughs> I'm laughing because 
I started to feel delirious because of the cold and I'm eating cold, I'm making myself colder. The strawberry, you, there's the tartness from the strawberries. It tastes like fresh strawberries. Like seriously. Okay, matcha. That was a bite of matcha I'm mixing with some mocha. So it was like <clears throat> combining matcha green tea. So it's like combining matcha and coffee at the same time. It actually works. Actually kind of works. Both flavors are spot on. I'm kind of amazed. I'm kind of impressed because we have like an eight layer soft serve in Nakano, our hometown. Quite different from that one. Price wise, it's like double the price. But I can see why because in this one, you can tell they use really strong flavors. You can tell that they're using real matcha, they're using real mocha, they're using real melon and strawberry. Yeah, this was a good choice. Although, I might faint after this. So, Otaru is a kind of day trip destination for From many Sapporo. Japanese people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I haven't stayed overnight. Beautiful. I haven't seen this night, night view of canal. But you should watch, you should see. It's so good. Yeah, I always thought it was. Uh, a good idea to stay overnight, mm. which is why this time I demanded that we stay overnight with Otaru and I think it was like the best idea ever or else we wouldn't be walking here you know along the canal at, at this time of the night. Inside the warehouses are restaurants, there's a nice sushi place, there's a beer hall, there's a nice cafe, a lot of nice places to eat here. Otaru has so much history and I understand why now, why my mother loves this place so much. Oh. She really, she she's tell me about Otaru all the time. Well guys, we have come to the end of this video. We really hope you guys enjoyed it. Did you enjoy the day I here? I enjoyed it. It was very cold, but uh, I ate so many foods. Mm -hmm. I remember every food. Me too, mm -hmm. me too. And you know, uh, once again, I, I do have to say, that the soft serve here in Hokkaido is amazing. Like it's like top notch <laughs> soft serve. Mm -hmm. um, whether you're here during the summer or in the middle of winter, I definitely recommend trying the soft serve here in Hokkaido. It's incredible. If you wanna see more Hokkaido videos, we do have some older videos that we made seven years ago. Uh, check them out. Thank you for watching. See you on next delicious video. Bye bye. Bye everybody.